as various senior high schools across the country are gearing up for this year's West African Senior High School examination, the Member of Parliament for Ho Central Constituency, Mr. Benjamin Komlakbudu, has donated a total of six vehicle tires to enable the Tanik Bay Senior High School fix their broken down vehicle. The ties, according to Mr. Kudu, is to help the school to improve their means of transportation, especially during the examination days where examination materials are going to be transported on daily basis. Earlier this year, the MP had presented two sets of water storage tanks of 500 litre capacity each and some street lights to prevent water shortage and boost security in the school respectively. We lobbied to bring to this school buses. The first one was brought earlier after the pickup. And then when the government was distributing a second batch of buses, we managed to lobby, especially the chairman of the education committee, Honorable Peter Notsu Kote. So we got a second bus for him. Some other schools didn't have the bus at the time. But your headmaster came to me to say that the tires of one of the buses is completely down, so the bus cannot properly move out. So I decided that as my school, I will provide you with the ties. So as we are sitting here now, I brought six new ties for the bus. We hope that the bus can now be put on road for you to use. That's the main reason I've come here. He said his outfit has taken note of all the infrastructural challenges confronting the school and he is doing his best to see them solved. I want our colleagues who have come here to know that some projects have been started but apparently abandoned, not out of the desire of the contractors but because they have not been paid. They don't have money to come and continue with the project. You see this one there? You see the administration block? Yes. And the dining hall behind? Yes. They have all not been completed. That's another project we have to pursue. As we are standing here now, I have filed questions for the Minister for Education to come and explain why these buildings are still like this. And in the process, he will be reminded of what needs to be done. You know, the, the, the hostel at the back, we had to put pressure on the contract to come and finish it up so that we move from our old middle school block, which had become the voice directory. So I, I had to put pressure together with the headmaster on the lady to come and finish it up. The finishing is not satis satisfactory to me. But it is better than the old middle school. He further encouraged the students to take their lessons seriously, regardless of the school's location, and assured the students and management that he shall take their issues and challenges to Accra for the necessary actions. And I can tell you that this senior high school has produced many people who have finished their university. So when you come here, don't take it as a village school. You understand that? Yes. Work very, very hard because people who have passed through this school have reached very high heights. So if you come and joke and you think it's a village school, let me just pass through and go away. You are going to cheat yourself for the future. So work very, very hard. Listen to your teachers when they give you work to do because that's the only way you can go through successfully. So I wish you very, very well. I, uh, I promise that when I go back to Accra, I will fight that these buildings should be completed. He therefore urged the students to also adhere to all COVID-19 safety protocols, using himself as an example. I distributed 42,000 masks to cover all of you. So I don't expect that you will be going without masks. Now, they are disposable masks. 
and they are very, very cheap these days. So make sure you have a use. Uh, you see the one I'm using? Yes. Uh, I'll remove it in the evening, wash it. Tomorrow I'll iron it and I'll use it yeah. again. Yeah. If you watch TV and you see me in parliament talking, this thing is hanging in front of my face. So I urge you to observe the protocols seriously. On behalf of management, staff, and students of the Tanyi Bay Senior High School, the headmaster of the school, Mr. Solomon Sapon Bagmai, expressed gratitude to the Member of Parliament for responding to their call by donating the ties to facilitate the movement of the school bus, adding that the items have come timely. We want to express our gratitude to the Member of Parliament, Honorable Benjamin Bodo, for responding to our call by granting us these uh, ties to facilitate the movement of the school bus. I believe that uh, it has come timely that we are preparing the student for the uh, WASI examination. This is going to facilitate the movement of papers from Waik to the school up and down and students for excursion in Wu to see to certain things in reality that will motivate them to put in their maximum towards academic work. We are so grateful and we pray that God continue to reward you and bless you for the vision that you have for this constituency and for that matter, this school. Thank you very much.